So in this case, the concentration is given in gram per dm cube. In gram per dm cube, uh, because uh, instead of moles we have mass, so instead of mole per dm cube, the concentration is in gram per dm cube. Now you can see this because if we rearrange the uh, equation, so C is equal to m over v, so grams over dm cube, so gram per dm cube. So concentration is given in gram per dm cube in this case. And uh, uh, so before moving forward, um, I made a slight mistake. I just realized over here, this will not be multiplied by 1000. It will be divided by 1000. I was slightly wrong with the math. So uh, it will be, please correct whatever you have written because this will be divided by 1000. And uh, so when we have to convert mole per dm cube to mole per centimeter cube, we divide, it by, we divide mole per dm cube by 1000 because 1 dm cube is 1000 centimeter cube. So please correct this and uh, let's move forward now. So we can convert this concentration back to mole per dm cube which is the more common unit we use for concentration. So to do this we know that concentration is in gram per dm cube. So when we divide this concentration in gram per dm cube by the MR or the AR MR or AR then uh, we get when we divide this concentration by MR or AR then obviously the uh, we know that N is equal to M which is given mass over MR or AR so when we divide this by M and MR or AR we get moles we get instead of grams we get moles over here and the dm cube remains unchanged so this becomes moles per dm cube and that's how the conversion happens because a given mass upon molecular mass or atomic mass is equal to mole so the dm cube remains un per dm cube remains unchanged and the gram is now now from a gra uh, now from gram per dm cube we have mole per dm cube and this is how the conversion happens moving forward sorry so moving forward so mole calculations involving volume of gases so uh, at room temperature and pressure so this is a fact that at room temperature and pressure one mole of all gases occupy 24 dm cube now room temperature is 298 kelvin and uh, the atmospheric pressure is 180 m so one mole of all gases under these conditions occupy 24 dm cube of volume so one mole occupies 24 dm cube Two moles will therefore occupy 48 dm cube, three moles will occupy 72 dm cube and so on. So we have a formula which, which is V is equal to N times 24 where N is the number of moles and V is the volume of the gas. So at room temperature this formula applies only at RTP which is uh, room temperature and pressure and uh, V is equal to N times 24 and um, when we put n as 1 we get 24 so you can see 1 mole is 24 and then when we put n is equal to 2 we get 48 so 2 mole gives 48 so this equation applies and if we have to calculate the number of moles of gas from a given num a given volume of a gas uh, at room temperature and pressure then we just rearrange this equation to make n the subject and n is equal to v over 24 and uh, therefore uh, we, uh, we, uh, for example the volume is given as 70 or 80 so it will be n is equal n is equal to 80 over 24 dm cube so 80 over 24 dm cube uh, when i do it on my calculator will be 3.33 moles so this will be 3.33 moles of gas so if a gas occupies 80 dm cube under room temperature and pressure we will it means that 3.33 moles of gas are present present in total 3.33 moles of gas are present in the in the room, uh, in the container. So uh, this is it for mole calculations involving volume of gases. So now let's move to percentage composition by mass. And I've already written over here. So for example, we have an ionic compound MgCO3, and we have to we have to calculate the percent by mass of Mg. So let's just consider that we have one mole of MgCO3 and we have to calculate the percentage by mass of Mg in the sample. So the total mass of this, the for relative formula mass will be the mass of magnesium which is 24.3 plus the mass of carbon which is 12 
plus three times the mass of oxygen because we have three oxygen atoms over here. So we get 